Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back to my reef tank. How the hell is everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. You can see my coral's doing pretty good. Everybody's doing good. Troublemaker, he's out there making a mess. I'm here to talk to you guys about my coral. One of my corals, polyfoamant. Yes, folks, the polyfoamant. Easy to care of, care for. These corals take modern lighting, medium flow, could stand temperature swings. These corals could tolerate a lot of swings in your tank and they'll still be kicking it. They won't die off. They're one of the easiest corals to take care of. But I'm here to talk to you folks. This coral that I'm showing you might take is one of the most deadliest corals out there to mankind. Yes, folks, these corals are one of the most deadliest corals you could keep in your aquarium. This coral is deadlier than zoanthids. Yes, folks, they're the most deadliest out there. This coral could kill you. That's why when you're handling these corals, you gotta be extra caution. Handling these corals, especially when you're fragging them, you need to wear gloves, goggles, and make sure you have no cuts on your arms, anywhere on your skin. Because when they release the toxin and it gets into your bloodstream, it's going to put you in a hospital. Yes, that's right, folks. It's going to put you in a hospital. And you can see I had, I had this coral in my tank for about, I gotta say, about four years. I had them, I bought them as a frag, and they spread out like wire file. I have them on this rock, and they, they're contained to this rock. They didn't spread out anywhere else on, on, into my tank. They're all contained on this rock. And one of the reasons I, why I leave this coral on top here because if anything drops on it and you crush this coral, it's going to release its toxin. And when this coral gets damaged and it releases its toxin, it's going to kill everything in your tank. It's going to destroy your corals, your fish. It's going to release a deadly toxin that's known to mankind and kill everything in this tank. So that's why I keep this coral up high. Actually, it's not high, but it's, it's in the middle of my tank to make sure there's nothing above that could land on it and crush it. Because I do not want this coral killing everything in this tank. It took me years to grow this tank, and I'm trying to grow it out. But this is one of the deadliest, it's the most deadliest thing you could have in your aquarium, folks. Yes, it is. But people have it in their tanks. It looks beautiful. It's a, it, it's different colors, and it looks attractive. When I've guessed over here, people's eyes turn to this coral right here. And to this one here, too. They, they love. But I just want to show you what's in my tank. I've been showing my tank, but nobody really pointed out. About this coral mentioned anything about it so I figured I'll just do a video about this coral and yes folks this is one of this is the most deadliest coral you could possibly have in your fish tank and it's the most easiest one to keep alive it can handle a lot of um, mood swings in your tank it handle a lot of a lot of swings in your tank Compared to other, to other corals can handle salinity change and all that as well as these corals there. So folks, I was just want to point it out to let you guys know, to bring it to your attention about the, this coral here. It, it could kill you if it gets in your bloodstream. So when you're handling anything in your fish tank, you want to make sure you're wearing gloves and it's cover every part of your skin. Because like I said, if this toxin gets released into the water column here, 
and it gets into one of your sores, one of the cuts you have in your body, it's going to put you in the hospital. It's guaranteed. All right, folks. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.